Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Word of Life Christian Center, most exciting, fastest growing fellowship in the area. You can tell by you can tell by uh, today we're we're we're, we're in the we're in skeleton crew today, but that's all right. We can do, we we can we can do it still. Hey, Amen. And uh, well, yeah, good. We're playing musical chairs now. Everybody's moving, moving around. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, it's Memorial Day, and uh, it's uh, times when uh, we. Uh, Remember, uh, and it, this, is, this always uh, got me, uh, we, we remember the fallen. Well, that's, that's great. I mean, we should, and we should remember the fallen, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, those who gave their lives for, for us yes. so that we could do what we're doing today here. You know, we have the freedom to do that. But uh, I, I was thinking about it this morning on a way way down here, it's, you know, uh, we always remember the fallen, and we should. With, I'm not, don't get me wrong. But what about, what about those who still fought and didn't fall? Yeah. We've got to remember them too. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, Day. Well, that, that, well it's, yeah, that's Veterans Day, but, yeah. that, that, but, but we should remember Everybody, I mean, we shouldn't just remember just the fallen, but I mean, I understand. I get, I get the Memorial Day thing, and I'm going to talk about, uh, my message today is going to be called uh, Building a Memorial. Building a Memorial. And uh, my question for you to just think about ahead of time is, uh, what memorial are you building? You say, am I supposed to build a memorial? Well, yeah, you should. <laughs> you should be building one. Amen. amen. To the Lord, amen. And I'm going to show you in the Word well, about that a little bit today. So, But until then, uh, let's stand and jazzercise with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> church in Acts 4, where they came together and prayed, they were filled again. Lord, we ask that, Lord, you come and shake this place and fill us again.
you 
is where I lay it down Every burden, every crown This is my surrender This is my surrender Here is where I lay it down Every lie and every doubt This is my surrender I will make room for you to do whatever you want to do whatever you want to I will make room for you to do whatever you want to to do whatever you want to Yeah. 
praise you and we thank you and we bless you and we honor you and we worship you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in this place. As we glorify and magnify your name, Lord. We glorify and magnify your wonderful name, Lord God. We give you praise and honor, glory. We bless you. We worship you. In everything that we do, we thank you and we praise you. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. You can be seated. You may be seated. Do you want to be seated? Are you already seated? Seated in heavenly places. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Well, we're going to receive our tithes and offerings this morning. If you like an envelope for your giving and you're sitting in the front row, you can Raise your hand. The usher will get you one. If you're not sitting in the front row, look at the seat in front of you. There's envelopes all there for you. If you need one of those, you can fill one out. Make it out checks. Word of Life, W-O-L, W-O-L-C-C, W-O-L, whatever. And put whatever you want on there and we'll get it. Amen. Also, uh, if you're giving by... Uh, Online, you follow the instructions and go to the website, follow the instructions, and you'll be able to do that. A lot of people doing that nowadays, so we appreciate that. And uh, if you want to text and give, you can text uh, the amount to 84321, and we'll get it. And you can also send it to us via the mail which a lot of people don't do anymore, but we do receive checks in the mail. And uh, if you'd like to do that, it's Word of Life Christian Center, 127 Wasser Road, Greenville, PA, 16125. And we appreciate all your giving, all right? So, Father, we just thank you. We praise you for this offering today. We thank you that we're blessed more than we can ever ask or think and that you provide all our needs. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for your giving this morning. We do appreciate it. All right. Today, uh, my message is building a memorial. Since it's Memorial Day weekend, <laughs> and we're remembering things. And uh, what is a memorial? What is a memorial? A memorial is a remembrance or a token of a remembrance. 
that which keeps alive the memory of someone or something. A memorial is a remembrance or a token of a remembrance. That which keeps alive the memory of someone or something. Now the Bible has uh, many types of memorials. <clears throat> has memorials to God, has memorials to uh, uh, the people of God, has memorials to other individuals, it has memorials to uh, prayers and almsgiving. And a lot of times, especially in the Old Testament, when something uh, miraculous occurred uh, on behalf of the people or God did something to show himself mighty in the people's eyes, they built a memorial or an altar to God to memorialize what he had done. And so <clears throat> there's all kinds of things, especially in, in, the, in Exodus and in Numbers and in uh, Nehemiah, where it talks about uh, memorials and Do, do you want to look at all of them or do you want to just go on to something else? <laughs> well, let's know. Exodus. Dark in here, uh, light, too light, too bright in here for you. Huh? Uh, Exodus chapter 13. <laughs> you wasn't? Uh-huh. <laughs> Exodus chapter 13. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, verse number 8. And verse number nine. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign unto thee, unto thy hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes that the Lord's law may be in thy mouth, for with a strong hand hath the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. It's for a memorial. It's for a memorial. Let's look at uh, Exodus 17. A lot of these are in Exodus, so. Exodus 17, verse number 14 through 16. And the Lord said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in all the book. Write this for a memorial in a book. Write this down for a memorial in a book. Something that you can remember. Write it down. In a book. And rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of the Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi. This is the Lord my banner. For he said, because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek, from generation to generation. He said, write it down for a memorial. And he said, when, when he not only write it down for a memorial, but Moses built an altar to memorialize what God had done. And so, Jehovah Nisi. Exodus 28. They did a lot of memorializing in Exodus. Because <laughs> God was doing some things with them and brought them out and they remembered. Exodus 28, um, verse number 12. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod for stones 
of memorial unto the children of Israel, and Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord upon his two shoulders for a memorial. He's going to wear these stones in the ephod, and he's going to bear it on his shoulders to remember something. To remember the, the tribes of Israel, the children of Israel. And he said uh, he's going he's to wear them and bear them as a memorial. To remember them. To remind them of what God has done for them. Same, same chapter. Same chapter, different verse. Let's look at verse number 29, I believe it is. Yep. And Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the breastplate of judgment upon his heart when he goeth in unto the holy place for a memorial before the Lord continually. In other words, Aaron's going to wear this ephod and he's going to wear it into the Holy of Holies and it's going to be for a memorial to the Lord. The Lord's going to remember, oh, remember my children, remember my children, remember. We sing, we sing, a, we sing a song I, uh, I talks about remembering the children. I don't know what, right now I can't think of what it is. But, but uh, Aaron's going to wear this and it's going to be a memorial to God to continually remember his children. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Let's look at Exodus 30. Exodus 30. Verse number 16. Now this is this is gonna flip you out. It's gonna rattle your chain a little bit. You say, why is he gonna rattle my chain? Because he's talking about money. <laughs> the, the thing that nobody in church wants to talk about, money. Uh, one of the most one of the most uh one of the subjects Jesus talked about a lot, he talked about money more than he talked about faith. All right, anyway, let's move moving right along. And thou shalt take the atonement money of the children of Israel and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, that it may be a memorial unto the children of Israel before the Lord to make an atonement for their souls. We're going to see later in Acts where uh, Cornelius, it says his money and his, his prayers and his alms, his money, has called up to the Lord before a memorial. You never, we thought, Money's a memorial? Yeah, it can be. Exodus 39. Yes, we didn't, we didn't read all these. We could have been out of here in five minutes. <laughs> Get everybody on their Memorial Day weekend so you don't have, don't have to eat so many hot dogs. What did I say, 39? I didn't say what verse. Same verse, same as the first. Uh, no. <laughs> Isn't that in a song somewhere? Yeah, What's that? Henry the Eighth I am. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh they, Henry the Eighth I am. Okay, I, I yeah, yeah, uh, uh, second verse, same as the first. I'll go, yeah, 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 yeah. Hermit's hermit. Well, it, my age is showing, isn't it? I'm dating myself. I am, Joy. <laughs> I'm Henry. I'm Henry. 
Henry. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. <laughs> huh? Henry the Eighth. I am. I am. I've been married to the widow next door. She's been married 20 times before. And everyone is an Henry. Henry. And he's there. <laughs> isn't, it amazing, isn't, it amazing, isn't it amazing I can remember all that stuff but I can't remember a scripture where it's supposed to be you know what that tells you it tells you don't spend enough time in, in the word as you did listening to Henry the 8th I am anyway how old oh good lord <laughs> Exodus 39 uh, verse 6 and they wrought onyx stones enclosed in ouches of gold, graven as signets, are graven with the names of the children of Israel. And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Israel as the Lord commanded Moses. Hmm. Numbers chapter 10. Numbers chapter 10. Verse number 10. Ten ten. Also in the day of your gladness and in your solemn days, in the beginning of your months, you shall blow with the trumpet over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. He's told him to do something as a memorial. As a memorial. Let's look at verse or chapter six, 16. Chapter 16, 39 and 40. And Eleazar, the priest, took the brazen censer wherewith they that were, were burnt had offered, and they were made broad plates for a covering of the altar to be a memorial unto the children of Israel that no stranger, which is not of the seed of Abraham, come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not as Korah and as his company, as the Lord said to him by the hand of Moses. A memorial, a memorial, a memorial, a memorial to be a memorial unto the children of Israel. Let's look at um, 31, Numbers 31. You say, what verse? Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> I'm still stuck on Henry VIII. Um, 31. I got to get there because I get my fingers working here. Verse number 54. The last verse of the chapter. And Moses and Eleazar the priest took the gold of the captains of thousands and of hundreds and brought it to the tabernacle of the congregation for a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord. So we see a lot of things. We see things that money, gold, amen, offerings can be a memorial to the Lord. Now, uh, I want to look at uh, Nehemiah. You say, where's that at? Well, it's in the Bible. <laughs> Nehemiah chapter 2. Uh, is when uh, it's 
Nehemiah saw the ruins of Jerusalem. He saw Jerusalem broken down, burning up, the gates of the city on fire, total destruction of the city. And the Lord told him that he would, they were to rebuild the city. And when he mentioned that they were going to rebuild the city, uh, not everybody was on board with that. And uh, I'm going to read to you just a sec, just a second here. Nehemiah, um, two. That's a, that I already told you two. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's look at uh, eighteen. Let's start there. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me. In other words, it. He said, God's hand was on me, and it was good. As also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. They strengthened their hands for this good work. Now, isn't it something when the, when the man of God and the king say, listen, let's, let's, let's just rise up and build. And it says they strengthen their hands to do it. Man, nowadays, 2023, the pastor stands up and says, we're going to do that. And everybody's like, I can't do that. I ain't got time. Shut up and strengthen your hands. And do something. That's just my little take on that. So I'll get off of that right now. But yeah. Strengthen your hands and do something. And so when they heard that, man. So they strengthened their hands and got to it. To do the work. Notice what it says here. But when Sanballat the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant of the Amorite, and Geshem, the Arabian, heard it. They laughed as the scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing that you do? Will you rebel against the king? Then I answered them, And said unto them, the God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. But you have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. You know what that word memorial there really means? Claim. You have no claim. See, when, when, when God says do something, and it would, doesn't matter what it is, he says to do, and the, all the other people strengthen their hands to do that work. Yeah, let, yeah, let's do this. And there was these other ones that laughed them to scorn the ones that don't participate and the ones that laugh or the ones that uh, speak against what God said to do, they don't have any claim, any portion, any nothing. Nothing. It's like the little red hen. Yeah. You didn't bake the bread. You didn't make the bread. You didn't... Do- Need the bread, you, so you don't eat the bread. You don't get any of it. You have no portion in this. None. You, God's going to prosper us, but you'll have no portion, you'll have no right, and you'll have no claim. 
to anything. Amen. And now, so we, we looked at all these different types of memorials, but there's some memorials in the New Testament that God talks about. Let's look at Matthew 26. Don't start that again. <laughs> oh, I know, I know how that feeling is. You can't, can't seem to get your breath and you can't seem to get your self. You're just hacking and whacking and you're thinking like you're coughing up a lung. Matthew 26 uh, is talking about the woman that came with the alabaster box and she anointed Jesus with, the, with all the perfumes and everything that was in the... And, you know, the disciples said, what a waste. A waste. <laughs> what a waste. And Jesus says, a waste. A waste that this woman would come and anoint my body with all these precious perfumes and oils and scents. They said, well, yeah, we could have taken that money and sold that, that give it to the poor. Interesting what Jesus says. Verse number 12. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, whosoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. People are going to remember her everywhere this gospel is preached because of what she's done. Now, my message today was building a memorial. And here it's talking about this woman, and I'm going to get to it in just a second. This woman who is going to be remembered forever for what she has, what? Done. What she has done. Let's look at Mark's account of it is in Mark 14. Mark 14. Verse number 9. Verily, well, let's look at verse 8. She has done what she could. She has come to a forehand to anoint my body to, to the burying. Verily I say unto you, whosoever, whosoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. Wow. 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 Let's look at Acts. I think this is the, the, the last one we'll, we'll talk about. Acts chapter uh, 10. Just give you a little bit of understanding what's going on here. Acts chapter 10. I always thought this was interesting because and we'll start at verse 1. Verse 
this Cornelius says he's of the Italian band. Grand Funk Railroad was an American band. He's of the Italian band. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what about Henry VIII, Grand Funk Railroad? Boy, uh, hermits, hermits, where are we going? <laughs> the, the Italian band. Uh, Cornelius is the guy who came to Jesus, the centurion, that came to Jesus and said, my servant is home dying. Speak the word only. That's this Cornelius. And it says that Cornelius, a centurion of the of the band called the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto them, uh, unto him, your prayers, your prayers, and your alms, which is your giving, and your giving, the, your giving was to the, what is, what is alms giving? To who? The to the poor. Your prayers and your giving to the poor has come up has come up for a memorial before God. What? His prayers and his giving to the poor has come up to God as a memorial. Now, what did we say memorial was at the beginning? It was a remembrance. A remembrance of uh, or a token of a remembrance. That which keeps alive the memory of someone or something. Every time God, this is his memorial to him, looks at that, he's reminded of what Cornelius has done. My message today, remember what he said about the woman, forever she'll be remembered for what she has. My message today is building a memorial. What memorial have you built To the Lord that he'll look at and remember you. It says here his prayers and his money. Wow. Wow. Something that God looks at and remembers. Amen? Something that God looks at and remembers. My message today is building a memorial. What have, what have you done for God or on behalf of God that would cause him to look at what you've done as a memorial to him and he remembers you? Just something to think about. Something for you to think about. What have I done? What have I done that would remind God or put God in remembrance of 
me. The woman with the ointment box, she just anointed his body. But it was so significant, she'll be remembered forever for what she has done. Now, I'm not saying you need to go out and conjure up something that you, you know, well, I need to build a memorial. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you just need to do and be who God wants you to do and be. And by your faithful acts of obedience to him, you'll build memorials. Something that he will remember you by. I know before I got saved, I did a lot of things that he remembered me by. <laughs> None of them were good. So what have we done to that he would remember us by? Building a memorial. Let's quit with this. We said that a memorial is a remembrance, right? What did Jesus say? When he instituted the communion table. As often as you do this, you do it in remembrance of me. You do it in remembrance of me. Could you say that the communion table is a memorial to God? This do it in remembrance of me. Communion is a memorial of what God has done for us, and we remember it. We remember it. Remember what, it's, what it is. It's a mem- what is a memorial? It's a remembrance or a token of a remembrance. That which keeps alive the memory of someone or something. And every time we receive the communion table, we're keeping alive the memory of what Jesus has done for us. Amen? Amen. So as we're remembering Memorial Day and we're observing Memorial Day, just think of the things that maybe you have done that has built a memorial to God. Something that he can remember you by and says, oh yeah, oh yeah, Ralph did that, yeah. I didn't want to say anybody here. Yeah, Ralph did that. He did that. Amen? Amen. Well, before we get going, for Joy's going to come up and give us a thing before we, but she's going to give us a Hebrew thing. and She's going she to say it in Hebrew, and I'm going to probably interpret it because I'm an, I'm an interpreter of Hebrew. <laughs> she, the joy said, oh, oh, well, you know what she's going to do now? She's going to go up here and read it. And she's going to go, okay. And I'm going to have the faintest idea with it. All right, so I'm supposed to tell you today, uh, kayaking, June 10th. She left me a note here that says, sign up today. Payments are due. <laughs> what Today? Oh, well. If you don't have it today, we'll get it. But if you can, whatever. But anyway, kayaking, June 10th, payments due. Doesn't say today, but I'm assuming Roberta knows more than I do about that. So anyway, uh, sign up, pay if you can today, but get it. I don't know how we're going to get it to you, but pay up and Pay up and shut up. No. (laughs) Oh, okay, Joy, you got something for us?
All right, well, you're going to need them sunglasses on up here because it's bright. No, you're going to need them. It's bright. You're sitting back there and you couldn't see. No, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I know I'm right. Oh, you're trying to read it, huh? No. I, <laughs> no. I, do I have to read the... Would, would, are you going to read the English? Well, I... Can you see it? I can. Yevarakeka Adonai ve Yishmeracha. Okay. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Yeer Adonai Panev Elacha Vechoneka. May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. Yesha Adonai Panev Elacha Veyasem Racha Shalom. May the Lord lift up his face upon you and give you his peace. All right. Thank you, Joy. So, have a great Memorial Day. Have fun. Don't eat too many hot dogs. And uh, enjoy your time off. The weather's going to be nice. And uh, get outside if you can. And if you can't get outside, stay inside. (laughs) All right. So, Father, we just thank you and we praise you for today. We thank you for uh, Memorial Day, for remembering the fallen, those who's given their lives for the freedoms that we have today. We thank you for it. We honor them and we remember them. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you for coming.